So I was about 19 and I was in college and I had gotten up pretty late one morning and I was heading into school and I needed to get there pretty fast so I was going to drive with my windows pretty fogged up, kind of let them defrost as I was on the way leaving. And so at the time I lived close to a highway and I was getting ready to come onto the highway and I couldn't see out of my window but you know I could see lights from the cars so if the cars had a light on I could see it. And so I figured I'd probably be okay. The, the light was red, but you know, you can take a right turn there. And just before I was going to leave and head on to the highway, I just had a brief moment where I just intuitively felt like I needed to stop and just pause there for a second. And as I did that, this big truck had blown by that didn't have its headlights on. And so at the time that would have easily have hit me if I would have drove out there. And I was driving like a little Toyota Celica, so it probably wouldn't have been very good for me if that would have happened. So I think that patience is one of the biggest keys to success in life. And that comes to pretty much any facet that you can think of, patience is gonna benefit you. And that's relationships, money, success, pretty much anything you can think of is going to benefit from having a good habit of patience built up. And so if you really want to build up a good habit of patience, it's good to try to have it integrated into your daily life. So if you're doing something like a meditation habit, that's going to help you build up a lot of patience pretty fast, especially if you're building a habit like that. You're just going to gradually build patience just from the fact if you can stick with that, I mean, it's going to take you a lot of the time, a year or more to even start to get gains from something like meditation. And so myself, I've been doing it for over a year and, you know, it's still not easy. I wouldn't consider it to be. I don't think you're ever really going to be fully masterful at something like that. So, and even here with the dog here, as you can see, I'm having to tug it along. I've had to build up a lot of patience with doing this. I've had her since uh, she was a baby and it's been incredibly hard to teach her and train her uh, without having much experience myself. So this is like the first dog that I've really bonded with and done anything. And now that I have the reward of it, granted, yeah, I have to tug her along every now and then. I think she's trying to eat some grass on the side right now. but. For the most part though, she's an excellent dog. She's trained well, she doesn't tug. And I've had a great reward of having her with me. She's really helped push me through uh, with my exercise habit. She actually you know, comes and waits at my door and makes sure that I go out and go for a run with her. So I think that patience is really valuable in really all aspects of your life. So if you're finding it you know, hard to be patient, uh, you can try to just sit in traffic a lot of the time. Like that's a good time when I practice it. So if I'm like in a big city or something like that, not much where I live, my little town doesn't have much traffic, but if I'm out in a big city, you know, just sitting there patiently and thinking and waiting and just kind of like focusing in on your breath is a huge uh, benefit to me for building up a good amount of patience. Uh, just because, you know, everyone's in a rush. I mean, everything, everything around you is in a rush for the most part so especially if you find yourself late for something just you know be patient you're already going to be late to whatever event it is just drive the speed limit because i know how hard that is right it's you know when you're late to something or you know you need to get there in a rush it's really tempting to like you know pick it up five ten miles an hour sometimes even more i've done way more when i have been like late to work or something in the past like that but you know, most of the time you'll find that you don't ever really get to where you're going any faster. Uh, you know, even if you do speed, you know, you really end up getting stuck at the same lights and really just in life you get stuck at the same obstacles. So like, I'm not gonna get, you know, better at YouTube if I don't continually just put out content and just continue to work on my skills. If I'm really impatient, it's not going to get me anywhere. It's going to, it's, it's something that takes a long time to grow. And so make sure that in your own personal development in your own life, your own interactions, that you make sure to really think about how you could be more patient and really think about how you could benefit and grow from building a good habit of patience. So let me guys know in the comments down below what you guys have a hard time being patient with. And if you can remember to like, and subscribe, if you enjoy these videos, thank you and have a great day.